it was December of 2011, I believe, and we had just lost our home to foreclosure. I remember our first night staying with my parents. I would say it was the hardest. Um, I was just sitting there, and I remember that I was in the living room, and I was feeling sort of numb, um, lost. Honestly, I was wondering where we would go from there and feeling like I had let my family down. Um, I hadn't said anything, but just sat there. And then without a word, my sweet Gracie, who was only about six years old at the time, she climbed up into my lap, curled up and fell asleep. Now, there was absolutely no question in her mind where home was. For her home was in her daddy's arms. The scripture says, but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. Psalm 131, verse 3. When I left for college, um, okay, my mom and dad told me something that I've never forgotten. They said, no matter where you are and where you go, or how old you get, wherever mom and dad are, will always be your home also. Now, I doubt that they realized that I would be literally living with them again, moving back in uh, at the age of 40. Um, you know how it's so easy to forget. It's so easy to forget that this world is not our home. And so much of our anxiety, strife, and just discontentment comes from forgetting that our home is with God if we are in Christ. Our citizenship is in heaven. That's in Philippians chapter 3, verse 20. But the truth is we were not made for this world, and that is why so many struggle with finding meaning and purpose in their lives. They're looking for it in all the wrong places. Popular Christian author C.S. Lewis wrote, If I find in myself desires which nothing in this world can satisfy, the only logical explanation is that I was made for another world. I love that. Therefore, let us keep our eyes looking toward heaven and our hearts firmly fixed on Christ as we rest in our Father's arms. That's from my book, uh, Calling Down the Power of Heaven. Um, and my prayer for you, no matter what you're going through, is that you, like a newborn baby, is content in its mother's arms like my daughter when she crawled up into my lap, not knowing anything really or understanding what we were going through. That we had no home, we'd lost our cars and everything, but she was content as any other night because she knew that Daddy always takes care of everything. She didn't know what kind of struggles we really were facing. And it didn't matter because Daddy always took care of everything. God is your Father, and He wants you to trust Him like a child trusts a father or a mother. Trust him. Seek him. May the grace of Jesus be with you. Amen.